Now, please welcome the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden. And please welcome the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. President Biden, you would be 86 at the end of your second term. How do you address concerns about your capability to handle the toughest job in the world? This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. Former President Trump, to follow up, you would be 82 at the end of your second term. Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them, both of them, as you know. It's, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The border, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. If we had a real president, the president that knew, that was respected by Putin, he would have never, he would have never invaded Ukraine. He did nothing to stop it. In fact, I think he encouraged Russia from going in. Just like Israel would have never been invaded in a million years by Hamas, you know why? Because Iran was broke with me. I wouldn't let anybody do business with them. They ran out of money. They were broke. They had no money for Hamas. They had no money for anything. No money for terror. It's been a terrible thing, what you've done. The fact is that the vast majority of constitutional scholars supported Roe when it was decided. Supported Roe. And that was that's, this idea that they were all against it is just ridiculous. And this is the guy who says the state should be able to have it. We're in a state where in six weeks, you don't even know whether you're pregnant or not, but you cannot see a doctor have your, and have him decide on what your circumstances are, whether you need help. The idea that states are able to do this is a little like saying we're going to turn civil rights back to the states. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The re I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf with you if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Never. But I had, you know how many? How, I've what, seen you swing. I know you swing. Hey, let's let's, let's not, not act like children. President Trump, we're going to turn. Let's round. not act like children.